Today I'm going to teach you how to make Korean noodle ramen perfectly. Stay tuned. Have you ever tried Korean noodle, which is called ramen? Um, as you can see in your supermarket, I think this one is the most famous one in the world. This is called Sinnamen. It's a little bit spicy. Yeah, uh, lots of Koreans, they, they enjoy this Sinnamen. It's really nice one. Or, I'll show you my favorite one, which is called Chamke. Chamke ramen. This isn't spicy as this one. But this one has more sesame flavor and it's a bit more sweet. So I really like the texture of the soup of this ramen. Okay, there's your main three reasons why Koreans, they love ramen. First of all, it's real economy. If you want a lunch or dinner in Korea, at least you have to spend around five bucks in Australian dollar for the lunch in Australia. You should spend at least like eight boxes or 10 boxes. But those ramen, it only costs one or two couple dollars. So it's really economic way to make your stomach full. Second, a lot of Asians, they love soup. Like in the morning time or, um, yeah, we just love soups to have something with rice, you know? So that's the main reason that we like ramen because it's kind of soup thing. And number three, we like it because it's unhealthy. <laughs> but a lot of people try those ramen as a hangover food. You know, if you got too much drunk last night and if you can wake up and if you have to try to cook something, but it's really hard to even control your body, right? <laughs> this one is really easy thing. Just put the water on, then put the soup and the noodles and blah, 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 blah. Just cook it, then you can have a bit of energy out of it. Okay, but today I'm going to show you how to make a ramen in perfect perfect cooking direction of Korean noodle ramen. Yep, so uh, those are the crucial ingredients. First of all, you need to uh, prepare some spring onions, an egg, and half tablespoons of sugar. Of course, uh, get a thin ramen from any market. And then, this pot is what Korea loves to cook with ramen. I don't know what it's called in English. It's like a, yeah, whatever. Just have a look at it. And if you could get it from um, Asian grocery, it would be lovely. Okay. Okay, first of all, the most important thing when you cook the ramen is the amount of water. You have to measure it perfectly. And that's the number one secret sauce of how to make perfect ramen. I'm going to show you how to measure exact amount of water easily. You need to use this bath to measure it. Put the water around this much. This much. And then I'm gonna pour it into the pot. There you go. See, this is perfect uh, amount of water that you need to cook ramen. Okay, next, I'm going to pour the soup, uh, the powder. There you go. And then I'm going to put the fish of a flake. The reason why I put the flake and the soup powder right after I measure the water is because if the water is mixed with something else, the boiling points of water goes down. The water boils at 100 degrees, right? But if, if you mix something with the water, then the boiling points goes down around 80 degree or 19 degree. So which means it will quickly boil and uh, give you more hot flavored um, taste. Okay, now we are going to burn it. I mean, we are going to boil it. And uh, when you boil the water, you have to set the fire into a maximum, the maximum fire you can get. You see the bubbles around the pot. Wait a little bit longer. All right, there you go. Yeah, it starts boiling now, right? If there's a lot of bubbles on the surface of the soup, then we're going to put the ramen. All right, I'm gonna put it now. 
There you go. Woo. Uh, if you want to make the ramen tasty more crispy, then you have to do like this. So grab some ramen and let it breathe in the air like this. It will give you a more crunchy uh, taste. Just want to let you know that this one is proved scientifically. You gotta trust me. Okay, and then now what you need to do is prepare the egg. Here's the egg, right? So put it in the little bowl. Crack it. And then you need to mix the yolks with yellow. All right, when it's almost done, put the sugar. So half a tablespoon, put it here, and then stir it. And then you put spring onion on top of it. Yeah, stir it, simple, right? Okay, next, pull the egg, but you, you shouldn't stir it. Gently pour it, and just let it go. Put the lid top of it, done. Just wait for like another half a minute. Let's open it up. Ah! Okay, finito. Woo! Ta da! Alright, done. Let's open it up. The, the reason why I ask you to uh, buy this pot is because you can use the lid as a plate. You don't need an extra bowl. Alright, so this is perfect ramen. I'm going to try and explain you what it tastes like. Alright guys, thanks for watching my show. Uh, if you don't want to miss my last episodes, please subscribe down below there. Uh, your comment is really important to me. Please leave a comment down below here if you got any questions or if you want to share ideas. Alright then, I'll see you next time.